Hi again, Ian Dainty, and we're going to carry on with our 101 marketing questions for B2B business growth. And today we're going to look at question 60, which is how do you attract B2B prospects or how do you attract your prospects to your business? And then from there, how do you make them buy, of course. But the, the first thing we're going to look at is how do you get them? How do you get them in the door? How do you get them to notice you? <laughs> this is one way we we don't want to end up doing is oh no not you again uh, always standing there always trying to sell uh, you know always asking 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 we've got to talk about giving but I'm not going to do that today I just want to look at the different methods involved here's one method that everybody does as you probably recognize this is George Clooney is that they use famous people to attract people to their business and there's no doubt that that has some value to it uh, depending on your brand and and um, what you do, you have to be careful of that, um, that you really know the famous people and you align with their values or more importantly, they align with your values. Uh, Tiger Woods is a good example of uh, how that went awry. Um, so it's just not what they do, it's who they are too. That's important to your business. So you've got to be careful about that. But a lot of people like to see attractive people, men and women. Um, and if they're famous to help uh, uh, build your brand, then that could be a way of doing it. Here's one way of doing it. Attract tactics, your best prospects find you. So I'm going to talk about that as we move through, not this video, but other videos about attracting and who your best prospects are. But this is uh, one way of doing it. And of course, this is um, done through the Internet, and I'm really going to spend some time on that in later videos. But what you want to do is how do you get prospects? So how do you attract B2B clients? Well, one way is still referrals. And a lot of us don't do that, uh, first of all, at all. And mo most people don't do it very well. And so how do you get referrals? Well, I've, re I've done that in previous videos. If you want to check about how to get referrals, uh, please check the, the previous videos. But they're still the best way because it's social proof. People are recommending them. Um, people are recommending you to other people, their friends and colleagues and acquaintances, etc., cetera, uh, business associates. And so that's how you can a great way to get Referrals is through social proof, and social proof is very important. We're going to talk about that in later videos. Word of mouth, something like referrals, but not quite. Word of mouth may be you read a newspaper article about somebody who said something about you, or they posted something on the web um, that you're not even aware of because they bought from you before. So it's kind of a blind referral, I guess, in a way. And the more you can get of that, the better, too, because, again, this is social proof. People buy from will buy from you based on what other people say about you, not what you say about yourself. You have to keep that in mind. That's why um, uh, case studies and testimonials are so important, and very few people have them. So <clears throat> most people look at two types of marketing. One is outbound or push marketing, which is I'm going to push my product onto you. I'm going to I'm going to tell you about my product. I'm going to tell you about what it can do for you, and that's push marketing. Okay, such things as emails. Um, Letters, direct response marketing, or sending letters out to people, postcards, standing on a street corner. I mean, they're all outbound or push marketing. Here I am, buy from me. and uh, Or I'm going to tell you about me. So, And it's still effective. Don't get me wrong. These, are, these things are still effective. A lot of people are now going back to mail, although it's expensive, but very few people are using it. And if you get something in the mail, there's probably a better chance of somebody reading it than an email. So... They so work. The other one is inbound marketing, which I'm going to spend time on in other videos, which, of course, is people find you. And I still believe they're the best prospects, other than referrals or word of mouth, but they're kind of a, a similar type of prospect where people find you because they want to buy. Okay? People buy when they're ready to buy, not when you want to sell it to them. And they buy when they need a problem solved and realize they need the problem solved. And you have to understand that cycle, too, the buy cycle that I've talked about before in other videos, and you can catch that in uh, in some of the other videos if you go to my FAQ page. So that's inbound or pull marketing. The real key is when I, as what I mentioned, clients buy when they're ready, not when you're ready. You can uh, agitate their problem. You can show them what can happen if they don't solve that problem and some of the consequences that can happen. Uh, I think a great one is insecurity. I think I might have told you the story about Somebody, um, an old client of mine in the security business, and they hacked into a, a bank in the U.S.'s computer and found their combination. All they did was sit in a truck outside the um, the bank 
and uh, and hack into their computer. That was a number of years ago when it was a lot easier. But they found the combination to the safe in about two minutes. And so the chairman of the board is a little excited about that. So that, that you can make them ready to buy, but you've got to be able to show and agitate that problem and show them what, what can happen if they don't. So clients buy when ready, not when you're ready. So you've got to keep that in mind, too. And here's, of course, what you want. You want happy clients. You want to shake hands and say, we move forward together. OK, we're now a team. Uh, I'm going to help you with your business and you're going to help me by giving me money. And so that's really what it is. So if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to add, please email me at ian at b2bbusinesscoach.com or uh, call me at my number below. And if you have any, uh, I wish you would do comments and please like this so other people can see it too and see um, where we're going with these. Thanks very much. Until next time.